Good day, YouTube. Warbles on a lot here. 24 hours after I lit the fire. And it's a funny thing, but the reason why I did not immediately jump up this morning and refill the water cannon was because I thought I'd only used about half of it. Because there didn't seem to be a whole lot of pressure in it. And I formed the opinion that air pressure must have leaked away. However, today, when I decided that this was big enough and hot enough that I really wanted a full water cannon or airport firefighter just in case the wind decided to try and distribute some of these hot coals before I opened it I put the pump with its gauge on it and there was 35 pounds per square inch in it when I stopped using it last night. That was a surprise. I uh, had formed the impression based on practice discharges using the old hose which was 13 metres long and it was a 20 millimetre diameter. This hose is 36 metres long and it's 19 millimetres diameter, so it's slightly narrower and it's three times longer. Turns out, because that thing's got an internal depth gauge based on the filler pipe distance, I used 85 litres out of a possible 140 last night. 10 litres in the hose and 130 litres in the pressure container and if you take 30 litres of airspace plus 85 litres of water removed and you've got 35 pounds per square inch in your 115 litre space then that means that I didn't actually start off with anything much less than 100 pounds per square inch after all. And the reason I had what I thought was a low pressure experience is because I hadn't allowed for the extra friction on the inside of the 36 metre 19 mil hose. But yeah, I used two thirds of the water that I had available. in the process of controlling the escaped grass fire which was caused despite the wet line what pretty much happened was the radiant heat evaporated the wet line and then spontaneously ignited the dry grass. And I suppose when you consider the perimeter, which was wetted down, knocked down, yeah, 85 litres wasn't a terrible lot of water to have expended. Sold bread at a price slightly higher than what she was permitted under the regulations to charge for two loaves of bread. Her employer was fine and he challenged that fine in court. Coming up to 75 PSI. The high court that the regulations were valid and that the government could, under the defence power of the constitution, I'll give that little pump five minutes to cool down.
73 PSI. So yeah, it came up from 50 PSI during a 10 minute pump run. The first 10 minutes brought it from naught to 50. Might take another 15 or 20 minutes to get it up to 100. Don't know. This is the first time I've used this new fancy compressed air pump, the professional grade one. So while I wait for the air pump to cool down, not much to do. But look at the moon. Descending into the trees. And enjoy the sunset. Enjoying ginger beer with a bit of rum in it. because sort of kind of like why not and oh yeah if I'd waited till next weekend I could have invited a couple of friends out to watch and help the burn but I didn't know they were just about to relax the regulations the lockdown corona self-isolation regulations and postponing it risk having the frost and having the frost would have made it much more difficult to control the radiant heat ignited grass fire that took 85 litres out of the water cannon to round up last night. So yeah, no malfunction of the anything. I just expected more sparkling nozzle performance from this than it was able to deliver with the 36 metre 19 millimetre hose. But roundabouts and swings. 36 metre hose will enable me to stand 20 metres off and still get around to the other side to put water on both sides of the fire. And candidly, if it was just me on my own with a wet pack, I don't know whether I would have been able to bloody round up that fire. I mean, not within that size, it would have been a lot bigger and I would have run the risk of the fire getting into this surrounding grass. So yeah, $250 25 years ago and it's finally actually confronted and beaten a grass fire. At the centre of a 140,000 horsepower whoosh event. 432 cubic metres of flame. <laughs> ah, yes. I enjoyed it in retrospect. It was pretty hairy at the time, but all the equipment worked. Everything did exactly what it was supposed to do, and I was just living in an imaginary world when I thought that this was going to make about as much nozzle performance as a six and a half horsepower. Chinese engine with a 25 mil hose. Yeah. Yahoo Yippee. The only way we're not going to have a terrible bloody spring for grass fires is if it rains all through winter. 72 PSI.
So. Associated professor in the travellers basically had to uh, camp out until um, other provisions were made. And just how successful again land quarantine was in stopping the spread of the, the virus is, is, is pretty unclear. I mean, my understanding is historians basically say much less successful than the continuing maritime quarantine. Because remember, a lot of almost 90 psi. I just pasted out, and it turns out that the perimeter of this fire. 54 meters and I put out 85 liters so if that's one liter per meter of fire line perimeter and then another 35 liters on various smaller spot fires when I was running from one side of the fire to the other then, yeah, sort of worked out pretty well, really. Try that with the second head torch lit. All told, I had pretty much the perfect equipment for this job. I wouldn't like to try much bigger of a fire with uh, with the water cannon but if all you got is a probably 30 meter diameter circle with 140,000 horsepower fire going off in the center of it then that water cannon's just fine is pretty good considering that it was designed to put out a burning tiger moth in 1940 during its service with the Royal Australian Air Force Empire Air Crew Training Scheme because that's what it was built for talk to you next time with more law Ninety two PSI. Trump has again pointed the finger at Beijing over the virus, which has killed more than two hundred thousand people around the world. And you are not happy. There you go. He's now predicted a death toll of seventy thousand people in the US. In That's China, the hundred. The reopening. It's a similar picture in Europe. New Zealand has eased restrictions today. So too has the Turkish release of redacted Royal Commission documents made essentially economic threats. There hasn't been a retreat. No, there's been no retreat. And there seems to be... A... Coming up through 105 PSI. I figure it might be a little bit less anemic if I have a crack at giving it 10% over pressure. Okay, call me daring. 112.5 PSI, 8 kilograms per square centimetre.
I think that'll probably do it. Actually, now the pump stopped. We're on 115 psi, maybe even 116. So Yahoo Yippee. I figured that if uh, you start squirting with 15 psi more, then when you get down to the bottom, you should have an extra, I don't know, two, two and a half pounds per square inch behind the last bit of water that comes out. With 130 litres plus 10 litres in the hose. The thing is, you've really only got 30 or 40 seconds worth of water. And the last one third of it is not going to be horribly impressive. Or at least it wasn't last night, because I'm used to having a petrol powered pump. So, see how it goes when you start off with 117.5 psi instead of 100. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao. There you go. Ready for more or less instant use once again. And also for repositioning. And I might have to come up with something slightly more functional than uh, a flat strap as a connection to the tow ball. But this ought to be pretty uh, Pretty handy anchoring hazard reduction burns before we go into spring. So I think time will tell.